Hey everybody, Panda here, here to bring you Magi episode 17 with a special guest. Would you like to introduce yourself? Hello, I'm BGT Um Good to be here, I guess, to do a collab uh, review of this episode. Yay! It's like, <laughs> we're both going to be doing um, Magi. It's sort of ironic since I'd done one with Nodger Damas on the chapter and then it was when I got uh, BGT to do um, the episode with me. Like, so let's enjoy it. So, um, what did you think of this episode? This week, I think it had a nice conclusion to the end because obviously the new arc starts next week. Um, I didn't really know what to expect from the last episode after seeing um, Aladdin um, coming back. I was like, "Whoa, you know what's going to happen?" But he didn't have much screen time. It was all about Ali Babakan and Kashim. But I thought it was a nice. Uh, wrap up then towards the end of the episode yeah like it was it, it really did only focus on um alibaba and kashim and uh, like kashim a lot of the things he did it did justify his reasons but at the end mm. of the episode i did start feeling sad for him because he always did what he just wanted to walk side by side with alibaba but he just couldn't because of like um, he he thought like because of his father having that like dirty blood in his veins, and then he was royal. He think he could never be in the world that um, Ali Baba is, and Ali Baba really did like did put him in his place. Um, why? Because at the start of the episode, Aladdin uh, came. He used the Solomon's wish, uh, wisdom. He used his um, technique, which I think is pronounced Hal Hal Infernal, which is a heat magic. <laughs> <laughs> which is a mouthful, but that heat magic managed to get recover um, Alibaba's magoi into his sword. And since, like, because we showed in, like, I think it was, like, episode 15 or 14, where he thought those half-animal people, uh, that he can also replenish magoi with fire. So that's the reason why his sword grew back, and but he got caught in the black to gin. And I really did like there was a few bits in this episode where... Some of it was actually, I like. I guess you could say it is filler, but it's like just little add, adding parts to the story. Like, we didn't know in the episode that uh, Kashim killed his father. We didn't know that. And the whole stuff with Jadal when he started freaking out, I don't, I don't remember that at all. Mm. Uh, yeah, but, I, I f well, obviously I don't re read the manga, so I couldn't tell about those little filler plots where um i think that was quite dark about um having to show kashim actually killed his father um that, that towards that point i, I just the, the episode changed for me when he said that he was never friends with alibaba i thought wow that is some harsh words right there but like i said towards the end it wrapped up quite nicely around that time i just thought uh this episode's not turning out nicely and then <laughs> saying yeah, and him saying all that, I was like, wow, is he lying? Is he, or is he saying the truth? Um, but after seeing some, of, well, uh, flashbacks as in how he grew up and everything, I was like, oh, okay. And obviously when he departed from uh, talking from Ali Barbican. Yeah, that was sad. And then right at the end when... Um... The, uh, I forget like what the guy's called, the one who's coloured up his face, who took away Jadal. But when he got attacked by Sinbad... Wow, he, that was epic. Oh, that, he went down like a sack of shit, he did. Like, that didn't even last long with um, his two, like, his two of this, are like, um, household, um, using their weapons. And then as well, using one of his Dijins. Mm. There are a lot more crazier the gins than that one, but there's a reason why he's called the um, High King of the Seven Seas. Yeah, uh, when he attacked them, um, uh, I thought that was great animation. I, that's why I love A1 Pictures. They do fantastic animation, um, you know, not just on some parts. Throughout the whole episode, obviously, it looks lovely, but doing that fight scene, or quick fight scene, we should say, that was uh, pretty epic stuff. Uh, I, I really did like how the episode ended with the ending. I thought the ending song just suited the part where all the uh, the rook was departing and you everyone got to see their families again. Like Alibaba yeah. saw his mother and his um, father again. He saw Kashim and um, I think her, her his sister is known as Malia. Uh, mm. Got to see them again. Even um, 
the uh, the other prince, the prince of he he saw it. he saw his father as well again. Everyone got to see their family that they lost, and it was nice because it said like you know people like yeah it's sad when people die but it isn't the end for them. It mm. you, there's more to life than like as soon they will always be watching you. They will be get. I mean the only complaint a lot of people probably have with this episode is that it was mainly focused on Alibaba and Alibaba was crying through a lot of it. So, yes. But, like, I guess that was needed because he, he just lost his best friend. Uh, and... Yeah. So, yeah. That was really touching as well, you know. And, you know, well, this is not the first time you've seen him cry because, let's be honest, he has cried in a few episodes. He is a bit <laughs> he of a crybaby. He is cry a bit baby. of a crybaby. Yeah, I agree with you on that. But uh, I forgive him for crying in this episode, I guess, but uh, I didn't see anything wrong with that. And, you know, to, even um, Aladdin was crying at the end as well. Everybody, everybody was crying because they saw all their um, friends coming back or family reunited for one last time, which was, like I said, really, and I agree with you, the, the ending song for that was perfect and it was just uh, very emotional. Yeah, that was very emotional. And then as well, we thought um, Sinbad finished off that guy, but you see a snake come out of his eye. And that whole yeah. little cult at the end. Do you? Where do you think they might be going? Well, I was like, oh, great. Well, you know, more characters being introduced, and then finding out there was thousands of them around. You know, um, I can't really say much about that. Obviously, I know you can because you read. Uh, yeah, I, I, I'm not. I'm not going to be saying anything because I've read the manga. But I just want to hear someone who's only like from an anime point of view. Yeah, it was interesting to say, oh, right, there's more, obviously, um, more characters are being introduced uh, every time for a long series. And I'm just wondering what's going to happen uh, with the other Magi, I believe. I can't remember his name. But, uh, the um, Dao. That's it. So Cause, I was like, okay. Cause they did announce he, there's four Magis in the world. Yeah. And, uh, well, like I said, well, he... he well, literally fainted after Kashim left uh, that, uh, what was it, that beast, to could say. Oh, the Black so, Dijian, yeah. So, well, yeah, well, obviously he's um, he's out cold, shall we say, and I, I have no idea what's going to happen next. But um, it sounds uh, interesting on what they were talking about and chanting. It was like, okay, yeah, kind of dark. It was, yeah. <laughs> But no, the next arc is going to be the Singulia arc, which is, I'm looking forward to it. Like, um, I don't, I hope they go a bit slow with this arc because there is a lot to go through. But from showing what the opening shows, I don't, I think they may only do a part, um, a portion of the, um, the Singulia arc, but that's all can be said. But yeah, I think that's the episode. Um, everyone, uh, would you like to just say your channel again before we wrap up? Yeah, um, BDT7 on YouTube and Twitter. Uh, the links will be in the description of this video. And thanks for having me for discussing this uh, episode. It's been a pleasure. I hope we can do this again I, because I really do enjoy like talking about episodes. Like especially when we uh, like I've seen the manga personally, and you like an anime watcher. It's good like listening to see like different yeah. um, points of view of it. I mean, we both enjoyed this episode. Like midway, mm, it could have gone either way, but how it ended, I think it just ended on the perfect note. That it did, yeah. But that's thank all. you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. And thank you, like, freaking Super Cell for the amazing song at the end. It was fantastic. Yeah. Well, that's all from us, everybody. Please um, click on the link below to uh, BDT's um, channel. He's a good friend of mine. But that's all from me and from him. So, as I always say, people, thank you very much for watching. Strat Like a Panda, sign out, and I'll see you next time, people.